all television and radio stations in the United States will now cease their regular programming. As a general rule of thumb, if you see a so-called hidden truth that they supposedly don't want you to know spreading like wildfire all over the internet, it's probably not true. For example, when we see people relentlessly warning about the dangers of 5G day in and day out, we then need to look for the motive behind the propaganda in order to determine where it most likely came from and why it was most likely perpetuated for all this time. And it should start to become obvious when we look at headlines like this one from the Atlantic that says 5G is where China and the West finally diverge. And this one off CNBC that says how the U.S. can beat China in the competition for dominance in the 5G race. It's when you see headlines like these that you start to see a reason for a 5G fear campaign as we've seen all over the internet for quite some time now. And you'll probably continue to see it as long as China is in the lead technologically. Here's another article with the headline, Does it matter if China beats the U.S. to build a 5G network, and if you're familiar with the last page of the Grand Chessboard by Zbigniew Brzezinski, you'll know that it calls for perpetuating America's own dominant position long enough to create the preconditions for replacing the United Nations with the New World Order that you can read of in Revelation chapter 13. So now, in order to perpetuate America's own dominant position, according to the Grand Chessboard, a 5G fear campaign is at this point anti-Chinese, up until the shadow government of the Kenai hands the 5G steering wheel, so to speak, over to the United States. That's when you'll see the 5G fear-mongering begin to vanish as it's replaced with the next big conspiracy theory designed to use those that spread these deceptions to further the agenda and traumatize everyone they come in contact with as the unknowing foot soldiers of the hidden dynasty of education. And when a person becomes traumatized, their confidence is shattered, and then they'll latch on to the first voice of confidence they hear, absorbing the false doctrine and becoming agents of deception themselves. This is the hidden dynasty of education in the 21st century, largely via the internet, distracting you from what you should be paying attention to, which is the breaking of the great horn of the he-goat written of in Daniel chapter 8, verse 8, which is the United Nations, in my opinion. And remember, the World Health Organization is a subsidiary of the United Nations. And back on February 10th, 2020, an article was published on foreignpolicy.com that said Trump seeks to cut in half the U.S. funding for the World Health Organization as coronavirus rages. And this article from today says the Federal Reserve launches new lending facility for foreign central banks. The Federal Reserve can just endlessly print Federal Reserve notes and the U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency. Remember in the last several years, China and Russia had talked about abandoning the dollar, but COVID-19 is a gigantic setback to that plan which will perpetuate America's own dominant position as Brzezinski strategy calls for in the grand chessboard on the last page, as well as replacing the UN, which is the great horn of the he-goat, in my opinion. And once the great horn is broken, so to speak, Revelation chapter 13 begins when the so-called New World Order comes into being, which may very well be triggered by what the media will portray as an alien invasion when it'll actually be Satan and his fallen angels arriving to Earth after having been cast from heaven. And those that don't trust the mainstream media will at that time turn to the alternative so-called media who will brainwash them accordingly as we see them doing now. Always remember Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from the Lord. If God didn't say it, don't believe it. Revelation chapter 9 verse 9 says, The sound of the wings of the locust army was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle, which is why I believe there's a possibility that the one world political system will come into being because of a so-called alien invasion when it's actually the fallen angels being cast to earth along with the dragon who is that old serpent called the devil and Satan but if the theory proves to be true then you can in retrospect consider what's happening in the world now as among other things a drill checking for weak spots in the global control grid looking forward
forward to when the one world political system of Revelation chapter 13 actually emerges. Then it'll be wounded to death, so to speak, after which 666 occurs, the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial when Satan appears as the Antichrist with his image being transmitted throughout the world at that time along with the images of his fallen angel locust army and the consumer stage thereof, killing most Christians, spiritually speaking, when they worship Satan instead of Christ. So it's not the technology itself that's the threat, but rather not knowing that the true Christ doesn't return at all until the seventh trumpet. And as the true Christ says in the last verse of Mark chapter 13, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch.